Uh, so I interviewed a girl that moved here from China when she was in elementary school. Uh, she's also an intercultural aide at Michigan State. Um, she also lives in my dorm, so I thought she would be a perfect person to interview when I was trying to choose someone um, to talk to. I didn't know her well at first, and I would only occasionally say hi to her in the elevator or in the lobby, so I thought this experience would be a good opportunity to get to know her better. Um, my friend that I interviewed lives in my dorm as well, so that's like how I met her in the first place. And when I was trying to choose someone, I didn't really know what to do. And I talked to her a couple times, like in the bathroom or in the hallway or in the calf. And um, when I like it came down to it and I had to choose someone, I just chose her because she was like the nicest person that um, I met on my floor so far. And we had like a couple of things in common, and she agreed to do it, so that's why I chose her. Um, I interview a student from Yemen and he lives in the same dorm I live to and we met each other in a dorm dinner event and since he is from another country and has a different cultural background, I thought it would be a good chance to get to know him more. Um, so we all had similar experiences with the people that we interviewed. We found that the use of metacognition strategies either in the classroom or studying for an exam um, where the people we interviewed, they also found that they hated lectures. Um, so they needed to find another way to stay engaged in the classroom. Um, they also found that like they had to find a form of studying that worked well for them. And then after, like if they found out they did a bad in the exam, they had to find another form of studying. Um, and also finding ways to balance their time um, and finding out which way of learning works best for you. Um, after each of our experiences with our interviews, we found that the people we interviewed used metacognition strategies without even realizing it to better their learning. Uh, we also found that even when we that we even use those same metacognition strategies without even realizing it. Um, all of the people that we interviewed were extremely self-motivated, but for different reasons. Um, one of the people that one of our group members interviewed wanted to prove herself to her family and show that anyone can go to college and do well because she was the um, first person in her family to go to the college. And she always tried her hardest because she was given um, an opportunity that her other family members were not given. And another was a language barrier that needed to get overcome. So one of the group members uh, we interviewed were uh, and still be able to do well in school. One last one was self-motivated to do better when she found that she got a bad grade on an exam. After seeing her exam grade, she took it upon herself to do better. She didn't need praising or encouragement from a teacher, a parent, or even a friend. She was completely motivated to do well herself. So after our experiences and our interviews through this process, um, we all found that we were better listeners after listening to their stories and the people we interviewed experienced going through this process. Um, some of us found that we're not as socially awkward anymore about meeting new people um, in these types of situations, especially in the beginning when we were meeting them for the first time and talking to them in the first interview. Uh, we also found that we do have similarities with people we didn't think we could ever have in common with, um, especially seeing how big Michigan State is, and we probably got to know someone better that we didn't think we could ever get to know at all or even better at all or get to know at all. Uh, one thing that we saw is that we're motivated and even inspired uh, by these people that we met and talked to and seeing how they learn and also their experiences and what drives them to do well in school and also in life. And then after our project, we learned that there can be many implications in the classroom for teachers regarding how students learn. In the classroom, students learn differently, which is what makes schooling different for every person. Um, another implication for teaching is that teachers need to be aware of the different cultural backgrounds in the classroom. Um, so, for example, each student is different and comes from a different background, and teachers need to make sure they're aware of this when they're teaching lessons or even talking to a student one-on-one. -on -one. Um, students also learn very different. For instance, some of our visual learners, so teachers need to make sure that they realize each student learns differently and kind of accommodate lesson plans to coordinate with how students learn. <clears throat>